everything. All right, guys, we are back in managed packages with NPM. Let's go ahead and open up our section here. We are now in disk tag. Oh my God, was this a pain? <laughs> this is a pain section. I remember this one. Um, so much so that we have to give our boy here. Where's our boy? Our boy, uh, Randy Davis, right here. I screenshot this. I want to give him credit because this section took me forever. I was doing this live stream and this I, I saved this. So thank you to Randy Davis who commented on some uh, some posts and helped out with this section. So what is a disk tag? A disk tag is... So it basically strings, so every every version, the most current version will have the latest disk tag, meaning that's the one that gets installed. However, when we're making new versions, we need to, when we're making new versions, perhaps we have an old version that will work better for a different operating system, and you may wanna have a tag for something like that. So that's basically what disk tags are used for. Um, you know, maybe you have an experimental version or a beta version of the new version, the latest version. You know, the latest version tag is um, will always be the one that's published. So the the latest published version, I should say. However, you need you need to publish a default version of a package that maybe is for, as they say, legacy version. You do that. You do that using list tags. So let's go ahead and follow our boy Randy's um, example here. So. We do npm ls. So you'll see right here we have this at ct360 slash at ct360 going on here. And uh, to do what we need to, um, we are going to, oh, this is weird. This is slightly different. I think I installed this. Anyhow, um, so to take part from the beginning, uh, we're gonna do npm dist dash tag. We're gonna add dist tag, and then the next thing that we do is we put that at ct360 slash ct360. Yours may be like at your username slash your workspace, and then the at the current version 1.0.1. And then the tag name, in this case, we'll throw test. Why didn't it work? Um, test is the tag name, so at this tag, at, oh, I forgot add. So npm dis dash tag, and then we wanna add at ct360 slash ct360 at the version number, which is 1.0.1, and then the tag, which is test. So there we go, we added our disk tag. You would not believe how long it took me. And so thank you to to, uh, to Randy Davis, who saved our day. And now when we run to how to dash npm verify, we should be good to go. And I believe if we open our package.json, it will have a disk tag or will it not? It might be stored elsewhere. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's in here, but uh, it'll be stored elsewhere, somewhere in a version. But um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. A special thanks again to Randy Davis. And support me on Patreon. It is appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video, as always. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.